Friday on First News 3 at 4, right after Rosie. Sue? Oh, thanks a lot, Beth. Frankie Valley and I are just talking because we, it seems like I've gotten to know you now. Right. We've bumped into each other shopping. We talked about that last time you were here. Right. I tried on some things for, for his wife. I did, and we had a lot of fun. But we were talking about traveling nowadays a little bit. What and a drag it is. What a drag it is, <laughs> of, of course, because the uh, post-September 11th, it just takes hours just to get through the airport. I think a lot of it is due to the fact that uh, I don't think that, that some of the people who work in security are professional enough. Yeah, I think they're trying to change that. Right. I think the feds are trying to change that. And then anybody who takes your bag apart should certainly <laughs> try to put it back the way it was. Oh, well, at least know what they're looking for anyway. <laughs> but Frankie, of course, the immortal voice of the Four Seasons, now solo. How long? You were a kid when you were discovered, Frankie. About nine. That's really no. <laughs> like geez. Well, you still have that voice. I've been I've been recording actually since I was about fourteen. Oh my gosh. And at that time, that's when the, the high pitched voice was getting the notoriety and everything. You right. were like one of the first guys to come out with that sound. And Well, I, I I don't know if I was one of the first guys, but uh, uh, falsetto had been around for a very, very long time. So, yeah, uh, yeah. But uh, like in rock and roll and pop, we and just used like it that. in a different way. We right. used it right. singing lead instead of doing background with it. So right. that's what made it unique. And look at your concerts. Everyone just goes crazy because everybody sings along. Who does not know a Frankie Valley song? I mean, it's just amazing. You had your first hit. How old were you then? Uh, early 20s. Oh my gosh, it must have been overwhelming for, for a kid basically, what, the East Coast, an Italian boy, right. Francesco Castelluccio. And we were talking about how you got your name changed. How did that happen? Well, I, I had a manager at that time. I, I, I must have been 14. Uh, and he said, uh, Castelluccio, he says, that, 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 that name is not going to work. He <laughs> says, we're, we're going to have to change it. And he picked Valley and, and it, it stayed. Right out of the hat. That, right. N nowhere. And, and At you... that time, I would have been happy for him to call me anything. <laughs> as long Just as... make me famous. Right, right. But you said your father never forgave you. He never did. Aww. He never really did. Because it was hard for him to say, that's my boy. I'm Mr. Casaluccio, but Frankie Valley's my That's why kid. I make it a point to tell people what my real last name is. There you go, and I don't blame you. So now, do you have, do you find that a lot of the, uh, the younger kids also are coming into that kind of the music that we all grew up with, the Four Seasons type music? Because uh, you are still I, so popular today. I think what's happening, and you know, and, and a lot of, uh, uh, of today's music, uh, uh, they're taking from tracks of some of the old stuff. Yes. And, and, uh, I, I, I hear so much uh, familiarity in a lot of these rap records. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're performing at the Orleans. Right. Tell us when. Still rocking and rolling from uh, <laughs> Thursday to Sunday. Thursday to Sunday at the Orleans. Right. Go check out Frankie Valley. You can sing right along. I know I've been humming your tunes. Which one is your favorite that we have a short? Do you have a favorite? I don't really have a favorite. There's just too many, too many hits. It's like saying you have these nine kids now. Which one of these kids are your favorite? Yeah, you can't say that. Well, it's, it's wonderful to see you again. I'll catch you at the mall again. Terrific. Definitely. And, of course, catch him at the Orleans, folks. Thanks a lot, Frankie. And it's always nice. It was great seeing you. Okay, you too. Take care. We'll put a skylight in for you next time. He loves the sun.